Give him a dirty hand here. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at the top five tools every model railroader should have. Let's jump right into it. In our number five spot, we have the soldering iron. Now this doesn't mean you have to have a super fancy one like I do, and in fact, I dug out my original soldering iron that was used to do my very first repair all those years ago. As you can see, it hasn't been out in a very long time, but uh, it's lovely to see it again, it's quite the piece. Another thing I'd like to mention is you don't have to start with something like this. I would really recommend getting a pen style soldering iron from eBay or Amazon. Those are really cheap and they work okay, um, but they don't last forever unfortunately. And you know, once you're ready, you have the extra money, it's a good idea to really get a nice fancy soldering station. Ah yes, the X-Acto knife. One of the finer model railroading tools for no absolute reason. Everybody has knives, but do you have an X-Acto knife? No you don't! You better get one. X-Acto knives are fantastic. You can change the blades, they last forever, and they're just generally great. Imagine all the amazing stuff you can do with an X-Acto knife. You could cut stuff. You could cut stuff. You could cut stuff. And you could also cut yourself. Don't actually cut yourself. Um... Yeah, don't, don't do that. Uh, but if you don't have an X-Acto knife, get one. Ah, uh, yes, the green Scotch-Brite, quite acceptable. Scotch-Brite, flexible sandpaper. You can clean wheels, you can clean contacts. It's fantastic. It's great, you gotta get some. And you don't have to get the expensive kind. You can get the dollar store kind, but it's a little less higher quality than the, uh, the full brand stuff. If you do not have a pair of pliers, I have no idea how you are a model railroader. Every model railroader has a set of pliers. You need them. They are essential. You use them constantly. I have used my pliers consistently for the past three years, and they have been fantastic. I don't care what kind of pliers they are. Just get some duckbill, needle nose, whatever kind of pliers. Get pliers! I can almost guarantee that some of you saw this coming. Precision screwdrivers. Oh boy, these um these are a biggie. If you don't have a set of precision screwdrivers, then you don't have screwdrivers because those little tiny screws on your locomotives and rolling stock, boy, you are not getting those off with any regular old Phillips flathead screwdriver. You need a good set of precision screwdrivers. I don't care where you get them, but you need some. They are pretty much the most used tool out of all of them. And I think they're pretty much the most essential one to everything. And I got these at Ace Hardware the moment I started model railroading and I have been using them ever since. And I honestly can't remember when I got them, but I know it was a very long time ago. These have lasted me so long. These have touched hundreds of locomotives and rolling stock. You could not imagine what these screwdrivers have seen. If you could ask them, boy, they could tell you some real stories. They are fantastic. Get a set now. If you don't have them, you need some. And with that, that is our last item. That is the top five tools every model railroader needs. Not should have. Boy, that was, uh, that was quite the video, man. Oh, hey, you guys remember that, um, that, uh, 210 decapod I got a while back? Well, guess who?